Hey guys, this is Cruz Roy with Onshape.com again. What I want to do now is a simple bolt with a thread. Uh, just going to keep it simple. I have a hard time doing threads and I'm a noob. This is a noob video just for a simple bolt. First you want to do is open your documents page, hit create. We're going to call this simple bolt. Hit enter. Once your document page opens, your planes will open up again and again like a thread we're only going to use the front and right. First we're going to start on the front. So hit your sketch in the sketch pane, click on the front. We need a polygon. Click on the polygon tool. We're going to use the origin as the center mark point. We're going to create a very large polygon. Click once. It's going to ask you for how many sides. Click again. This is a six-sided polygon. Our next step to make it look thicker is to extrude. I'm going to make this 1.5 inches. This is a very large bolt, but just as a visual effect. So we're all complete with this bolt head. It's very simple. No chamfers or anything. So check out of it with the green. Next, we're going to need to do another sketch on the face. What I like about on shape, any sh uh, side or space you click on, you can draw from. We're going to do a ske second sketch. The second sketch wants to be on this plane of the bolt head. We're looking for a circle to do the shank. I like using the center points. If you move around slowly, you can find a square yellow box. That will be your center of this bolt head or the origin. Let's create the shank. I'm going to go right about there. I'm not going to use any dimensions. I'm just going to make this simple. You can change your dimensions all you want later. You click it once. The circle tool is there. Now that the circle is created, we want to extrude this circle. Okay, so this is for just, this is the menu that opens up and the only thing we need to change is how long you want that shank. We're going to make it 2.5. It's 2.5 inches on the shank. Shanks look awfully cool, or shoulders, with a nice chamfer. So before we check out, we're going to hit the chamfer tool. We're going to highlight the edge of the circle, click it, and we have an instant chamfer. Now we're complete with the shoulder. We're going to hit the green check mark and check out. So now we need a third sketch to create this bolt. We're going to hit the sketch bolt menu. We're going to select the plane, which is the face of the shoulder. Again, we want to grab the circle because the threaded part is round. We're going to find the square box. We're going to create this circle. You want to stop just at your chamfer. Click once. There's your, you just created a, another circle or another sketch on the shank plane. We want to extrude again. We're going to extrude. This time we're going to make the threaded part of the bolt 8 inches long. Now I'm going to zoom out. We actually have something that looks We'll hit the green check mark. Actually looks starting to look like a bolt. Now, to create a thread, we need a helix on this cylinder. Nowhere else, just the threaded part. So hit your helix bar, the face of your cylinder. Now you've created a helix. I'm just going to use turns. You can use pitch or turns. Turn Pitch is technical. Turns is really, really easy. Click on turns. We're going to make... 10 turns on this thread and you see how the helix has changed we're gonna go clockwise and you start at zero degrees we can check out of this we're all complete bolt head shank or shoulder and threaded shaft if you'd like at this end right now before you hit the green check mark you can hit the chamfer bar again and chamfer the end of the bolt that gives you a nice detailed chamfer on the end of the bolt. Now we can green check mark out of here. The final thing we need to do is make this look like a bolt. So we need to use the sweep command. So we'll need to create another sketch and put an equilateral triangle. But to do that, we need to see the right plane. So we want to hit 
sketch. This would be sketch four. Click the right plane. Now to look at it properly, you want to right click, view normal to sketch plane. Now we can see it's looking right at us and if you need to use your scroll wheel to zoom in. It's real hard to do this with the part showing. So over on the left hand side, look for part. There's a little eyeball. Put an X through the eyeball by clicking on it. The whole part disappears. So to make this thread or create the thread or make it look like a thread, we need an equilateral triangle. So let's click on the line tool and as close as we can to this helix, we're going to create an equilateral triangle. And again, I'm doing a very ugly equilateral triangle to show you how to make it equal. This is a crappy triangle. Let's uncheck the line tool. Let's click and highlight the triangle and let's hit the equal sign. Okay, now you've created an equilateral triangle. The next thing we need to do is to set the plane between the equilateral triangle and the helix. So we will click the top of the equilateral triangle. We will click on the helix once and we will use the pierce tool to connect them. Now, you are complete with this. You took an equilateral triangle and the helix and you've connected them on the same plane. Hit the green check mark and the only thing left to do now is the sweep tool. Click on the sweep tool. The first thing you want to click is remove the faces and sketch regions of course. You click that. Click the equilateral triangle. It will highlight the sweep path. Highlight it. Click it. The helix is your sweep path. And again, merge with all. Click that box. Hit the green check mark. We are all done. And I know you're saying to yourself, that don't look like a bolt to me. But if you remember, in the parts menu, we unchecked the eye. Now we want to show the part. Click. Here's the part. And I want to remove the helix. And... There we go. Just the threads are kind of too big, but it's a simple bolt. I hope this helps someone out, and I hope it was quick and simple. This is Cruz Roy with OnShape.com, and I'm out of here.